Hello everyone. Hi, welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. Friends, today we are going to learn a fantastic topic that is on mezzanine financing. See, at the end of the day, mezzanine financing is part of uh, private equity, uh, venture capital. Venture capital is part of private equity and private equity is part of uh, alternative investments. Let me show you a drill over here. The first thing that comes over here is your mezzanine financing. Then comes your venture capital, which is a part of venture capital. Venture capital is part of private equity and private equity is a part of, you can say, your alternative investments. See, nowadays, traditional investments are not showing us that great returns that, as what the alternative investments are showing. Alternative investments like hedge funds, uh, venture capital, private equity, commodity investment, real estate real estate investments are REITs, and that's known as REITs, and uh, so on and so forth. There's project finance also one in the game. So these are the part of alternative investment. They show a really great amount of profit. Let me show you something, an article, which will give you some insight. Over here, you can see there is a one China backed buyer who aims to fund $5.2 billion, $5.2 billion of HK skyscraper deal, mostly via a debt sources. So it's written over here. The buyer of the center is looking to raise around 40% of 5.2 billion in one year mezzanine financing by offering to pay 8% interest for the term short. The remaining up to 50% will be raised in the form of senior loan, said four people, three of whom were the bankers involved in the deal. So what exactly is mezzanine financing? See, at the end of the day, if you run a business and you want to acquire a new smaller company, you may need to look for additional sources of funds. So ever wonder about what you should offer equity or debt? I mean, my simple question over here to you is that what you should offer, whether you should go for equity or debt. See, this mezzanine financing is in between of equity and debt, you can say. So at the very first end, you may be you or you can choose mezzanine financing which lies in between of equity and debt and at the same time it provides you more benefits than this two see mezzanine financing definition is nothing but a kind of financing that has both it has both the feature of equity as well as the debt now the financing it, it provides basically the lenders the right to convert its loan to equity in case of default only after the private equity company and the other senior debts have been paid off. Like, for example, let us take a simple example in the above. The China-backed buyer of the Hong Kong sky skyscraper from a billionaire, La Ka Shing, for a record of close enough to $5.2 billion and is seeking to borrow as much as 90% of to fund the deal around 40% of the of, of this $5.2 billion. Let me just calculate of $5.2 billion, which comes down to... Uh, 2.08 billion in, in one year mezzanine financing at 8% interest rate. So this was funded at 8% interest rate. Now let's understand it in a detail about mezzanine financing and also the advantage and disadvantage of mezzanine financing. Let's get into the core of it. The first thing that we are going to learn is about the structure of uh, mezzanine financing. See, uh, have you ever bought a house? I mean, my one single question to you, have you ever bought a house? See, if yes, then in that scenario, you would know that most of the owners of the house would go for down payments, which is known as DP. People call it as DP down payment. So the down payment is the money he has saved for himself. And the rest of the amount is mortgaged through a bank, meaning that the remaining amount is taken as loan. And uh, in the case of mezzanine funds, it works just like this. There is one senior debt. Okay and there is equity and mezzanine says okay i am in between both of you that is mezzanine financing so since mezzanine financing i'll just mark i'll just highlight this with a color over here and this is your right so mezzanine financing comes in the middle so since mezzanine funds is not about buying a house but buying the companies as simple as that it is buying companies and it happens like following the firm who has been purchasing the company uses its first it uses its own cash okay and then the remaining portion he he takes a debt from different bank okay so generally private equity over here that is the pe player which is not a pe player in the market they act as a mediator here either they they buy them buy the company themselves or they help the management of the company to buy the target company. So now mezzanine financing definition can be of different types. The first one is usually a portion is given from own savings by the private equity and they take a loan from multiple investors for funding the purchase. The second one is the private equity company uses its own saving and then take a debt from a company itself and thus arranges the funding. 
so as a result mezzanine fundings are something aren't something for everyone would go for because the risk over here is very high the risk is very high and the expectation of the benefits is quite high so let's see a few of the characteristics and important characteristics of mezzanine financing and then we'll take some practical example to illustrate how exactly it works so let's understand the traits of mezzanine financing the first one is mezzanine financing is for the company who have moved beyond the startups so it is basically you can say mezzanine financing aren't for startups uh, since in the beginning startups don't have enough cash flow it is difficult to keep take up the highly risky investments so it is for those who are yet to put their foot forward for ipo but still needs to boost in, boost in their growth capital so that they can expand the second is they are quite flexible form of financing mezzanine financing are called the subordinate and debt and it is particularly useful for small business owners who aren't yet ready to pay off the huge cost of capital on the equity financing since mezzanine funds are offered with a tailor made approach in mind it suits the small business owners quite well and and as small amounts are borrowed from multiple sources like private investors mutual funds insurance company no one runs after the borrower immediately and another reason is it is quite flexible because of uh, uh, you can say it is considered as unsecured loan that means the borrower does not need to provide any asset to take the loan the third characteristic is it is highly risky which we have already which i already told you before mezzanine financing funds are pretty risky on one side it helps the small business owners to boost basically to boost their business you can say but at the another side it is out of to be so risky if the small business owners aren't able to generate enough revenues or cash flow it would be impossible for them to pay off the debt on the on time because the interest rate of the mezzanine financing is quite high and that's why it is always recommended that mezzanine debt should not be more than double always remember it should not be more than double of its of the cash flow of the company for example if a company has been generating around let's say close enough to 100000 dollars in cash flow so what it should do it should take at least 200000 dollars as a mezzanine financing i'll write mezzanine financing and uh, you can say and it should not be more than 500000 dollar so greater than 200000 dollar and less than Five hundred thousand dollar. So, as a total debt, including the mezzanine debt, the fourth one, the fourth characteristics is uh, mezzanine funds are basically unsecured. So, basically, over here, the lenders restrict the borrowers in certain cases. See, this is not good news for borrowers. See, since mezzanine debts are unsecured, the lenders should have some hold on the loans, and that's why they they offer incorporate restrictive conditions that the borrower needs to adhere to. For example, you know. the lenders may ask for the like warrants they ask they may ask for options of the ownership if the borrower defaults to pay off the amount or the borrower may be asked not to borrow an additional loan or else the few financial ratios the borrower must need to meet so this are some of the characteristics now let's take uh, an example on uh, mezzanine financing and learn about how things work see uh, example number 1 There's this guy called Mr. Richard, and he has an ice cream parlor. So, mezzanine funds can be used for buying a company or expanding one's own business without going for an IPO. So, let's say there is this guy called Mr. Richard, and uh, uh, he has an ice cream parlor. He wants to expand his business, but he doesn't want to go for conventional equity financing. Rather, he decides to go for mezzanine financing. So, he goes to mezzanine financiers and he asks for mezzanine loans. The lenders mention that they want, they need some sort of warrants. or or options for mezzanine loans since the loan are unsecured mr richard has to agree to the terms set by the mezzanine lenders so mr richard takes loan of close enough to 1 lakh by showing he has a cash flow so he wants to take a loan of basically he takes 1 lakh loan and he has to show that he has a cash flow of close enough to 60000 okay every year so he takes a loan unfortunately he defaults and at the time of the payment since his ice cream parlor could not generate enough cash flow the lender takes off a portion of his ice cream parlor and sells off to get back their money i'll show you another example of federal capital and let's see the insight on the same let's see another example of federal capital the federal capital partners provide mezzanine financing for altman companies as the construction starts near for alters grand central apartments So as you can see over here in the, in the article it is uh, much written with the said all the details see as we can see from the above the federal capital partners who are the private equity firm has provided close enough to 6.5 million 
okay 6.5 million in mezzanine fund to the ultimate companies for the development of altis grant altis grand central okay so now let's get into some of the advantage and disadvantage let's understand the same see there are some advantage of uh, you can say uh, of mezzanine funding see as you can already see that there are many advantage of mezzanine fund here are some of the most significant advantage of mezzanine funding the first one you can get loan very easily you can get the loan easily now small business owners needs fund to expand mezzanine fund is easy to get and once one does not need to provide any asset or sort of you can see a mortgage the second one is the structure of the loan is the structure of the loan is quite flexible which we have already gone through the structure of mezzanine debt is quite flexible the borrowers take loan from multiple sources and as a result the amount of each is smaller the third advantage of the same is that interest on mezzanine debt is tax deductible so the you can say the uh, interest are tax deductible, deduct deductible, so that is quite of a sort of a benefit. This is the main advantage of mezzanine fund, and one of the reason for which the small business owners go go for mezzanine debt is that the interest they pay on the debt reduces the tax they need to pay on the government. Let's take uh, let's understand some of the disadvantage and see what exactly is there. See, in case of the disadvantage, along with the pros, mezzanine uh, fund financing has a couple of demerits as well. The first one is that it has restrictive you can say covenants okay that basically is one drawback since the loan are unsecured the lenders incorporate restrictive conditions on the borrowers like warrants options of partial ownership not to borrow additional loans from lenders and so on and so forth and the second one is like they have high interest rate okay so since mezzanine loans are unsecured the borrowers need to pay a quite a high interest rate and if you have not been earning half of what you have intend to borrow stay away from taking mezzanine loans so this has been a complete tutorial on mezzanine financing and uh, we have learned couple of things out of this the advantage disadvantage the examples and how uh, where it, uh, exactly it is included so i hope you have really got a great knowledge regarding the same thank you everyone